the purpose of this uh, review is to identify what exactly is the rattling noise just on the top of the roof right here uh, on the driver's side. Just recently I started to notice the, the rattling noise when I am on the motorway speed. So if you're just cruising around towns and cities, that's fine. But it is when you are at the motorway speed, you are 70 miles, miles an hour, that you, you notice the rattling noise of the wind. It's got something to do with the winds, the headwinds clashing on to the windshield, the windscreen. But that side is fine, and this side is fine. It's somewhere, somewhere, just by the driver's side here that has an issue. So I've gone up there, I've identified that there's a rubber strip just underneath the 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 rug holder. I don't know whether it's got it's got something to do with the back back uh, bike racks on top there. Uh, I'm not sure whether that noise could be coming as a result of the bike racks up there. Because it seems to be somewhere closer, maybe somewhere right here, not not on top here where the first uh, rack rack hook is bike rack hook hook is so it's quite strange because because the car is so quiet that you can notice any abnormalities so we notice the tire noise faintly barely notice the tire noise but you notice the wind especially when you are driving fast but there's a particular crackling noise with the wind, with the wind noise that I'm trying to investigate. So I said I noticed the rubber just underneath and I used the credit card just to push it in. So but we're going to give this a good run now back home on the motorway. We'll, we'll try to notice the any wind noise that might. I think this is my junction right here. This is a bit weird. I've not come through this place a long time, so the road is unfamiliar. for an open road now so let's put that foot down it's normal now I can hear the, the noise I can hear the wind noise but not the rattling noise yet because I've put I put the rubber back in I think the rubber comes out again which is a bit of a of a mess I think it's come, it's come out again. It's a bit of a mess when you, when you know a Mercedes to be very good at build quality. So I'm still trying to listen to it. I can still hear it faintly. are up fully up of course if the window is down you could see you know a cascade of wind noise did you hear that so the, the EQC does a good job shutting away the noise you hardly can hear the noise but when something is rattling on top because the choir is quiet inside you can hear it 
and that's what I'm trying to investigate. So I'm doing 70 right now. I can hear it. Not as loud as it was yesterday, so I might have figured out what is going on. That's a particular you know, dodgy bodywork they've done on top there. I don't think it's got something to do with the bike rack so that I've fixed, I've fixed on it. It's got something to do with a particular rubber strip that is not fastened properly. You can hear it better there. You can't hear it if you open the window. Because all you could hear if you open the window is the is just the wind noise and the other other cars noise that's not rattling here but somewhere right there where my hand is on top there that's a little rubber just across the entire car on the other on the bump of sides at the edge here that's a losing end that the winds are getting caught into otherwise the car is super quiet so I'm doing this the server now and it's it's bearable right now but yesterday when I was coming from Liverpool it was very loud not overly loud it's something that an engine, if it was a petrol or diesel, the diesel engine would have covered it up. It's because it's, a, it's, a, it's an electric car, super quiet. That's why I could notice that little, you know, that little uh, crackles. Traffic is a bit busy right now, so I can speed up. But hopefully, hopefully I've managed to identify what happens. Um, I know there will be other people, there might be other people out there who might experience the same thing because they build the car the same way. Because this particular car is, is, was actually built. Now, look at that car in front of us, that is the GLC. That, that GLC, that is the platform they use for this car, for the EQC. So the GLC, that's what they customize for this car. So Mercedes-Benz tries to save money by not building this car from the ground up as a new dedicated platform for EQC. So most of this car, most of this car's parts and the, uh, they're from that car in front of us right there. Just very coincident that that car is in front of us. So from the GLC plant, they are manufacturing the EQC. Of course, it's a different shape. They kind of shape it differently. So they probably have some logistical issues, some technical issues because they're trying to make a different car to fit a new car. So perhaps that's why they have some issues with tying up the loose ends properly. Apart from that, there's nothing really wrong with the car. You know, the car is superb. It's, it's, it's very comfortable to drive in. Well, the GLC is going my direction. But the EQC is a bit longer. Possibly maybe about 100 millimeters or maybe 150. And slightly taller as well I think the GLC the one in front of us right now is I don't know whether the this is actually the DE version I think this is the hybrid version but it's just they just use the same platform for for this car 
maybe the boot size, I don't know, the boot size of this one is about one, 500 liters. Maybe the boot size of that one, um, I don't know whether it's smaller or it's a little larger. I need to look at the data. If you know, let me know. Uh, just put the comment below. So, ladies and gentlemen, my investigation, I think, is successful uh, partly because I, I managed to push the rubber in a little bit with my credit card and the noise, the road noise, the wind noise, the crackling noise kind of reduced a bit. But it's not been totally reduced. Hey, it's Wale here. Now, what I thought, the squeaky wind noise on uh, the motorway speed, 70 miles an hour, uh, could be, is this. Now, if you look at this, uh, this particular strip right here that runs across the the edge of the car. Now, underneath that is a rubber strip. Just, just hold on. Let me try this. Now, can you see the rubber stri strip here? I don't know whether you can see. They uh, they go through like that. I don't know whether you can see just right there inside. And they're supposed to terminate here. But what I found in my car is that the termination ends here. By the way, the one you're looking at right now is the remedy that I've just I've just uh, I've just put into it. I'm going to talk to you about that in a minute. Now the, the rubber strip stops here. Stop stops here somewhere here. Now, and there's a gap underneath. So when you're traveling on, at speed over 70 miles an hour, the wings get caught inside. You can see I've blocked this off now. It get caught, caught it, it cuts, the, the wings get caught inside, get caught up inside and start to vibrate the rubber strip against the, the bodywork, the metalwork. And that is what I thought could be the reason for the wind noise, but it's a squeaky one, almost as something's flabbing around, it's vibrating. It's it's only on the driver's side. It doesn't happen on the on the passenger side. So I thought maybe it's, it's because of the bike racks that I that I installed. But I realized that that's not the case. That wasn't the case. Uh, it could be because of this. So what I've done is that from my old bike rags uh, accessory accessories you know usually they they give you a very long rubber strip to 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 put into the bike rack so part of that i've cut it out the leftovers and you can see from here right here to there it's a new rack uh, uh, rubber strip i can actually remove it from here so i can kind of i, I just where i just wedge it in like that then I make sure that it's, it's covered this little gap here, which I suspected is causing the exaggerated wind noise. Now, because the car is so quiet, you realize that any noise that is out of the ordinary could be picked up. It's nothing major. It's something that you could just forget about, ignore, or just you know turn the music on and it doesn't disturb you because of the quietness of the EQC, you could differentiate what is the genuine wind noise from an intruder. I think this is intruding a little bit, because you could see, you could hear some uh, uh, squeaky, uh, flabby, almost like a vibrational uh, a noise, anything above 70 miles an hour, which you could actually pick out uh, if you're driving, if you're cruising in towns and cities, you don't notice that because you don't reach the motorway speed. So what I've done is that I've, I've <laughs> Mercedes, if you're watching this, it's ridiculous. This is absolutely embarrassing because I'm just helping you to complete your work. I don't know why there has to be a little gap there where the wind that gets caught here. So much, some cars actually block this off, this particular a space right here. I don't know what it's there for. Maybe it's a drainage or something, but usually 
the wind gets caught up in there and, and kind of and kind of twist up then there's a whole bunch of noise that is there uh, around uh, around that side as well but the AQC does a good a good work to keep those noises out but there's a little squeaky noise that I've just explained which I thought was a sort of a little gap between between this area that I've just blocked off right now so I've done the same thing to the other side even though the other side is no what is I, I, I've not picked out the same uh, intrusion on the other side maybe because I've not sat on this passenger seat a lot because I've always been driving so what I've done now is to block them off with a with with a rubber strip and I've just gone for a test drive trust me it works yes it does actually reduces the vibration now I was able to cruise uh, on a 70 mile an hour and I went on the motorway uh, it's a very it's very windy today so that was a perfect f perfect test time and I was able to go on the motorway on the Pennines on the MCC2 which is the highest motorway in England so that's cross winds everywhere headwinds tailwinds whatever you want whatever, depending on where you're going you know so it, it was a lot helpful now at 75 at 80 I, I could hear a little bit but not as pronounced that is as, as it was before at 70 mile an hour so maybe 85 80 percent um, um, effective what I've just said right now and so and because of that I'm quite happy with that so I will let you know that it's developing uh, maybe you are, you are experiencing uh, exaggerated wind noise on, on the driver's side I don't know whether many people have experienced this but I'm making this video just to let you know that part of your uh, troubleshooting should include making sure that your rubber strip here is not loose and it become it becomes flabby because i actually actually first of all use the credit card to push it in properly then i put an overlay on it you can see the overlay right there from here to there um, it's nicely wedged in if i want to remove it, i could just remove it easily uh, i'm lucky to be, it appears to be the right size for for it uh, some of the leftover rubber strips that, that will go inside this uh, particular bar so uh it's what a lot of people here please leave a comment if you've experienced any uh squeaky uh almost like a vibrational um and wind noise on the eqc at motorway speed and let me know what you've done to correct that okay please subscribe and like it give it a thumbs up until the next video keep keep smiling uh, it's not that bad it's not that bad at all that's that's, that's the place where you know we're standing we're standing we're healthy and we have food on our table all the very best bye bye